Reaper, come closer. The death you've caused lingers about you. What a pleasant scent. But last year's harvest won't feed this year's brood. I'll need something fresh to bestow my boon. A witch mother's brew to heighten the reek of death. All for a handful of reagents. A pumpkin to serve as a base. Guts torn from squealing critters to add body. Tamriel is littered with dangerous delves. The strongest creatures within are the wheat amidst the chaff. Harvest them. Their essence will linger about you and add just the right flavor to my brew. Bring what I desire to earn your brew. Harvest the strongest creature in any delve for its exquisite flavor. Also guts, and a pumpkin almost as important.
fortune fade. Goodbye, my friend. Can I help you? Three haunted who need your help. I'll mark where to find them on your map. Detritus? It's a ghastly place.
A half-world filled with horrors. Lord Hollowjack sups on the fears of mortals there. There are three haunted who need your help. I'll mark where to find them on your map. They're in this world, but their spirits are tormented in detritus. This amulet will allow you to journey there to help them, and let me communicate with you too. Three haunted who need your help. I'll mark where to find them on your map. They're in this world, but their spirits are tormented in detritus. This amulet will allow you to journey there to help them, and let me communicate with you too. It's a ghastly place. A half-world filled with horrors. Lord Hollowjack sups on the fears of mortals there. During this time of year, portals open between that demiplane and this, and he works his dark desires on the living. Detritus. There's a plant, a flame quench bloom that can extinguish the blaze. But beware of Lord Hollowjack. I opened a portal to Detritus. For enter and seek the flame quench bloom. Let's make magic! Sparkle! of hope rising against the fear. You put out the fires, the blaze that followed me from detritus. You saved me from the flames. Thank you. I don't remember much, but there was something I needed to find, I think. I went into detritus to look for it. The flame quench bloom? The fires are gone, but my head still blazes with pain. There was a totem? I carried something with me that guided me to Lord Hollowjack. It's lost now, along with my memory of it. I'm sorry, friend. I wish I could tell you more. You saved this haunted. There are others who need your help. <laughs> Please. 
please forgive me. I'll try harder next time. I promise. I'll wash away the shame. I will pay any cost, no matter the sacrifice, even if it kills me. My ancestors, the ones I've disgraced with my useless life. I hear their voices as if they're standing right next to me, condemning me for every flaw. I was in detritus. Lord Hollowjack laid bare my ancestors' true feelings of what a worm I've become. Go speak with them if you must. As for me, I need to prepare myself to make amends for all my failings. Believe me, I failed everyone. I must prepare myself to meet my ancestors. Detritus can be a horrifying place. The very air is filled with fear. Keep going. of her. Voices. They're gone. I saw my ancestors. Lord Hollowjack and you as well. What did you do? I see. I was so consumed by my fear that I lost all reason. I was so sure that the only way out was to... to... Thank you for ending that nightmare. I don't really remember. Something about that horrible place clouds my memory. I only recall bits and pieces, but I recollect a promise of knowledge waiting within Detritus. That lured me in. I had something with me, a powerful object given to me by someone for my task. I can almost feel it, but it's gone now, along with my memories. I wish I could tell you more, my friend. I, could well break the realm I am forever in your debt, my friend. I need a moment to compose myself. You need to stop Lord Hollowjack before he destroys anyone else with his terrors. I'm a far-flung son of House Rollis. I travel Tamriel seeking hidden knowledge. As a boy, my mother would regale me with the histories of our family. It's the only fond memory I have of my childhood. Yes and no. My father's a cold man, with little in his heart but a lust for legacy. He doesn't think what I do lives up to our heritage. But it makes my mother happy when I write to her of my travels. And I do enjoy collecting knowledge. I need to write a letter to my mother. 
I don't know how long I was trapped, and I don't want her to worry. After that, I should go someplace sunny. I hear the Sisters' Islands are nice this time of year. of it, soaking my arms nearly up to my shoulders, spreading every moment. I can't talk. I have to scrub it off, or it oozes even faster. It's not my blood. I didn't even notice it until he showed me what my axe has done. Showed me the stains of the dead creeping into my skin. It was soaked into my body until I drown in it. I have to wash it away. Maybe he can show you as well. Leave me, please. My axe has spilled so much blood. Even if I scrub the skin from my bones, I will be cleansed. The pack cleansed the haunted axe. He said I'll never be clean. The blood covers me, seeps down my throat until I choke. In detritus. He showed me the truth of what I've become. Why won't the blood come off? It needs your help. You must cleanse his weapon. cleansed my axe, and with it, me. So I see. I was a fool to think I conquered my fears and moved on from my past. If you hadn't come along, I might have plunged my head into the river to escape it. You have my thanks. I... Sorry, I must be feeling the effects of my time in detritus. I recall one thing. I was offered absolution for my past. A way I could escape my painful memories. There was a totem I was given to help me face detritus. Small but powerful. And it made my skin crawl to touch it. That's all I can recall. My deepest apologies, friend. 
I want to lay down my axe and travel someplace more peaceful. Good luck to you, friend. I just need to rest a moment before I move on as well. I can barely lift my arms. Me. I'm just a tired old soldier, far from home. Not much place in Rothgar for an orc who shivers at the sight of blood. Made me a perfect victim for this damn Daedra. Yes, for as long as I could stomach it. I was born strong. The elders trained me in the traditional Orsimer way, wielding my axe, cleaving skulls, bathing battlefields in the blood of our enemies. It made me sick. I thought it was a good idea. I realize now that violence infects every inch of Tamriel. I was a holy man. Yes, I remember now. He promised me redemption. No such luck. I'll find my own way. I always have. I want to lay down my axe and travel someplace more. Peaceful. Good luck to you, friend. I just need to rest a moment before I move on as well. I can barely lift my arms. Welcome, White Sorceress. My haunted can never escape. Ah! They are illusions. Don't be shaken by them. Dark tidings are upon us. The Crowborn horror encroaches upon our realm. If it is left alone, it will ultimately pierce the veil and threaten all the inhabitants of Nerd. Whether for altruism or reward, I sense you will be the one to defeat it. A powerful wraith of crows from the Evergloam. Its approach is inevitable. But there is hope. Aspects of the horror are already manifesting in our realm, in the form of cursed feathers that grow upon vile creatures. You must collect these feathers. When you gather enough, you will be able to fashion an effigy of the horror. Once we imbue it with energy from the Evergloam, it will allow you to lure the creature into a pocket realm. There, you will be able to defeat it. Now go! Time is short. You must gather the cursed feathers. 
They may be found growing upon the most vile creatures throughout Tamriel, and hidden among the feathers of crow-like beings. I sense them everywhere. Once you collect enough to make the effigy, we can begin. They are manifestations of the Everglow. As the crowborn horror draws ever near, its energy builds in the form of dark feathers that grow upon creatures like an infection. These feathers won't harm you, however, in case you have any reservations. You don't know? It is Nocturnal's realm, a place of shadows and darkness. It is inhabited by many, but ruled by only one. You must gather the cursed feathers. They may be found growing upon the most vile creatures throughout Tamriel, and hidden among the feathers of crow-like beings. I sense them everywhere. Once you collect enough to make the effigy, we can begin. A secure vault makes for a confident heart. <laughs> 